Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So we are working our way through viewer requested questions. This one is from Shonik slash Gert. Can you explain the options on the stone burner server? I'm very confused for what to do there. Currently I'm flying F-18 air to ground, air to air will come later. I think there is something about creating own missions on the server. I would like to be able to create waypoints also, sorry, waypoint also, where do I see weather info? Okay, so that's all a uh, fair question. So first of all, let's answer the first bit. Stoneburner is one of five GR public servers that we have up and that are available for you to join at any time. So that's the first question. First thing is probably just to show you how to do that. First of all, you join our Discord, Discord. server. This is Discord. And just to show you, you go to the welcome readme. You read through all these rules and then rule number 18, it tells you something to type in in a certain place. Once you do that, you will be given a rank. Once you've got a rank, then you will be able to view all of these various channels that you've got here. And so if you want to now find the password, although our servers are open to the public, we have them password guarded to make sure you come in and be a part of the community rather than just coming in randomly and team getting us and messing around because we used to get a lot of that problem. So we need to go and find the relative channel in here in this Discord to get the password. So I'm scrolling down here. I go to DCS public lobby, which you will be able to see as long as you've done that thing I told you to do up there. You then go on the correct server. You've got RC2, RC1, playground and training. Training is the stone burner. I don't know. Why is it called stone burner, auntie? Um, it's a it's a reference to June and um, to a guy called Stone who donated quite a large chunk of money uh, to get the server up and running. Uh, so I click on that there and I'll try and cut this out so Auntie doesn't bollock me. The password will be roughly where I am moving the mouse around here. Next we'll go jump into DCS and start answering your questions. From main menu we go to multiplayer. There are two ways of joining. First is the lobby here and what we do is just leave the lobby to self-populate and well would you believe it three have come up but another two Grim Reaper's public service has not come up and it does this sometimes. Um, does anyone know why it does that? No idea. It's a bug in it's, uh, yeah, it's, server. It's, it's buggy at the moment. So the first thing, the important thing to say is that sometimes servers just don't appear. So if that happens, or you can do this anyway, you can just go to connect by IP. The IP is going to be in the Discord screen that I showed you. Um, I will go and grab that now. Okay, so I'm going to paste the IP there, and I'm going to paste the password in that would have been shown in Discord as well. Enter. So that's the preferable way of joining a server. Clicking on it in the lobby is not the preferable way of joining. Right, we're in Blue Coalition or we can be Red Coalition and I'm just going to choose a uh, FA-18 at Wadada on blue side. In we go. Well, that looks rather dark, so I'm going to start it up. And while I'm starting it up, I'm going to show you the button that I'm going to use to go to the comms menu. So to go to the comms menu, and you can see that for me is the button for the communications menu. That's what you'll need to do. So press that button. So I click on other here. We've got air boss, we've got AWACS reports, we've got mission task spawning menu, and we've got JTAC target reports. Can you quickly explain what those four mean, Andy? Right, the mission spawning menu will allow you to spawn air to air and air to ground missions in the easy oh and helicopter missions in the easy, medium and hard uh, roles. Now you can only spawn one air to ground at a time but you can spawn multiple air to air missions the jtac target reports you can you can switch them on and off um but they basically give you the targets location so that you can put in waypoints and things, things like that in fact uh, a lot of the aircraft like f-18 f-16s harriers a-10s mirages they already have 31 waypoints um installed for where the targets will appear and the first one was Airboss. What's that? Airboss. Um, currently, the Airboss works on the Stannis. It's like an LSO. So if you're in um, an F-18 uh, or an F-14, um, and the next one I'm putting on is for the Tarawa, so Harriers, uh, you can actually talk to the Airboss on the carrier, and he will direct you in as if there was somebody actually on the carrier telling you to you know, add power, reduce power, and give you all the directions for landing. Roger. Okay, I'm going to have a little play. So I'm going to go mission task spawning menu. I can have an air to ground mission, which I can only have one at a time in play on the server. An air to air mission, air to air reinforcements, a location intel menu, and debug menu. So I'm going to spawn in an air to air mission. Do I want it easy, normal, hard, intercept bomber mission, or a air to air random? Well, I want to say 
uh, intercept bomber. Now, where, does it spawn these relevant to my position, Auntie, or will it spawn them randomly on the server? Uh, it spawns them randomly over the north Roger. sort of area of the map, around the mountains and, and around Nalchek and Mycop and places like that. When I click on this intercept bomber mission, will it tell me where it spawned, or do I just go, do I just go and find it with the F-10 map? Uh, you, you can just find it with the F-10 map. Okay, so I'm going to spawn this bomber in. Uh, intercept mission active, and let me go and find that. I've got to find that now. Uh, where would that bomber be? There they are. They are a bunch of Tu-160s that have spawned in, and I've got to go and chase them down, or whatever. Uh, back to the cockpit. I'll press F10 to get to that menu, by the way. So let's go back into communications menu. Let's try that again. Uh, this other... Try an air-to-ground mission, assuming there's not already one in play. I'm going to make it a anti-ship mission. There is already a mission of this type currently active. You can only spawn one... Yeah, so it's saying there's already one active and you can only do one at a time. Otherwise, that you people would mess around with it and they would spawn a hundred in and, and kill the server. So there's a good reason for that. The server down and, and lag the server out if there was yeah. loads and loads of missions spawned. Roger. So let me just try again so I can get something else to spawn. I'm just going to have a quick look here. Location Intel menu. So we've got here ground target location intel and smoke active target areas. So this is going to be relevant to the current ground mission. Look, I'm getting an EWRS report. God, it's so complex. It's telling me where those um, bombers are. Yeah, you can actually turn them off. Um, yeah. If you go into F10, then F1, the AWACS report, you can actually switch them off because they can get very large and intensive. Understood. Um, how do I turn it? Oh, yeah. So, so talking about these reports here, I can turn picture off or on. So I'm going to turn it yeah. off. So it's very complex. This reminds me of a server I went in called 107. Is that something to do with that? Yeah, um, this mission is a uh, through the Inferno uh, mission that uh, Deadly Fish is, has kindly uh, let us have. Thank you very um, much. And that. I've been, uh, I've, yeah, I've been doing a, a lot of the scripting with him Excellent. to try and make this just, just, just for the Grim Reapers training server. This is a, this is a, a dedicated map. Yeah, good work. Mm -hmm. And just to mention again, it is open to all public. Like we're here, we can do yeah. other things regarding the AWACS, request bogey dope, request family pictures, set group reference points, and so on. Out of there. Let's have a look at JTAC target reports. So these are the current JTACs operating. It's telling you where they're operating and basically what they're doing. Uh, so that one's laser code on a T90 tank at that lat long and that MGRS at that elevation and so on. Um, and if I wanted to go and intercept that, then I would say, for instance, create a waypoint there, uh, which actually leads us onto the next question that the guy asked, which was, how do we create a waypoint? Now, you can't create a waypoint through this menu here. You have to create it in your jet. Some jets you can create waypoints in, some you can't. An FA-18C, you can. You do it using submenus through the HSI, which I've not got turned on at the moment. And what I'll do is I'll link a video down in the description of this video you're watching, and you can go and uh, watch that if you want to learn how to make waypoints so we've looked at different tasks uh, and missions we can create we've looked at the AWACS report how we can get them and turn them off and on we've looked at the JTAX port uh, we just want air boss now so with these only relevant to the carriers aren't the air boss yeah they're only they're only relevant to carrier cable aircraft so f-14 f-18 uh, a uh, av-8b harrier Roger. Um, so just the carrier-based ones, and currently it's only on the Stennis carrier that we have on. Right. Um, we have like three carriers, um, but the Airboss is only on one currently. I'm working on uh, adding it to another and to the Tarawa. Okay. So eventually okay. we'll have two out of three. So that's that. That's, to be honest, it's all a bit complicated and over my head, but that's there. The last question was to look at the weather, and the way I'm going to look at weather is left alt and bravo left alt and bravo and we get this this is called the briefing screen and lots of information is going to be here these are all the different possible aircraft that can be used situation various stuff um, about the server keep moving down we so there's a note here waypoints for missions are available for f-18 AV8B, is that what you were talking about, that you've already got waypoints in these planes and they are relevant to the Yeah, for every ground target that spawns there is a waypoint set for aircraft that can have waypoints. Right, um, so when that ground target spawns, will it tell you which waypoint it is? I don't think so, I think you've just got to cycle through them to okay. find where it is. Okay. 
out of interest we've got various stuff here including all the tankers you're going to want to know your carriers and this is not just auntie's mission that's like this uh, just about all public servers will have all this information here in the briefing everything you can need about tankers because people always ask me how do you get the icls or the tac out of a carrier it will be here if it's not here then you can't get it here we talk about the various available missions air to ground air to air the different difficulties this is all stuff we've been talking about. Different smokes where they're applicable. White smoke is that. Red smoke is that. Green smoke is that. There is CTLD scripting in here. If you don't know what CTLD is, then uh, you're probably not interested. If you do know what it is, then it's here and available. Yeah, it's logistics for helicopters so that you can pick up crates, troops, things like that, load them, drop them off. Uh, there are missions available for helicopters to do that sort of thing. Roger, I've got Zeus map marker spawns and commands here. I don't know anything about that. Is that anything you know about? Yeah, it's a, it's a bit like Zeus in Armour 3 where you can place down units uh, for your players to go if you've ever seen uh, the Zeus interface. Basically what you can do is you can put down a map marker and then in that map marker you type in dash create and then the name of the unit that you want to spawn in. So you could make your own um, sort of army unit and, and below there you can see all the all the red spawnable units and you just uh, copy from there and paste it in wow. so it will spawn in aircraft or ground units or whatever on your marker um so you, you can you can sort of tailor a mission for well, your own use you got some very clever background scripting on here haven't you it is, yeah. It's all uh, moose mist and stuff like that. There's uh, also the early warning radar scripting on here, the air boss, um, lots of little things we have in here. It, uh, it makes it quite a quite a decent mission. Each map runs for four hours. We've got a summer map during the day. We've got an autumn map that has shifties uh, dynamic weather on. So down the south of the map, it's it's very very dark clouds mm. clinging to the mountain tops like you would see on a rainy day in scotland uh with some high winds and then further up to the north on the autumn map it, it's a much clearer weather um then on the winter map we have two hours of darkness with a full moon and against the snow as you can see it's quite light out there so yeah. for people who don't really like flying at night um it is quite visible you know it is quite light Mm -hmm. um, but uh, a lot of the guys want to, to fly some nighttime carrier ops and some nighttime refueling. So there's, there's two hours on the winter map, um, yeah. which I think is a, is a good balance for people. Um, we've got here, just telling us what uh, threats are in play at the moment. We've got here is our weather. Because it's dynamic weather, the weather will change wherever you are on the map. So this is telling me at this airbase at the moment, the temperature is minus two. Q&H is there, metric and imperial. Cloud coverage is thus and the winds and the turbulence is so um and take of departure and we've got information here regarding the airport that we are currently at so that shows pretty much everything you can know about the server there it's quite a big read but it's all there and all accessible through those menus the only other thing that we request you can see it's getting lighter here that's pretty sexy uh, the only thing that we request is not essential that you come into the voice chat when you're playing in here but ideally we prefer you to come into the corresponding voice chat which is in the discord uh, it's pretty easy to find it'll always be full up with people it always is and then you can chat and if you're ever looking for help about how to learn your planes i just haven't got the time to give you help we've got, we've got tens of thousands of followers i can't help you but if you can come in here and go into the voice chat in the training server there's always someone to help you to tell you how to do the f-18s to tell you how to do the f-16 a tomcat and whatever anything else you want to add before we sign off auntie uh, no, that's that's about it. Any more questions, like you say, can can be answered. We do have a um, a server log where people can put requests or give us bug reports, things like that. Roger. Right, come on, play with us, and we'll see you in the server. And see you later.